I'm in a new game that just came out today called Gadgeteer. This game's actually really cool. Uh, so you have this tool in your right hand and you can change the head. I'll show you that later. And over here you have a menu. But in this, you know, beginning area, this all you can do is like, this takes you home. This uh, turns off and on the music. So like, this is the music. Not my style, so I just turn it off. This is a quality setting. So like, there's the lowest quality. I'll keep pressing it. And then that's the highest quality. You can tell by like the shadow. This swaps your hands. So now my left hand is this tool. So I prefer this in my right hand. So if you squeeze grip, you can pull yourself along. There's no like free locomotion. Maybe they'll update it to have that, but this works fine for me. You can also, I can make myself go down here and I can pull myself up high. Cause some of these puzzles are up high and you gotta be able to get all over the place. So uh, there's puzzle, sandbox and tutorial. So I'm just gonna go to puzzle. So you, it'll it'll take me to my, uh, my last puzzle I got to. All right, so see 24? This is the last puzzle I got to. And that room is all the intro puzzles that I did earlier. So it's already set up. So usually each puzzle has like a couple beginning blocks to get you started. And then from there, I have to put blocks and contraptions. So like here's a bunch of ramps and all sorts of stuff. Here's, you know, dominoes. There's a ball. I'm not sure I haven't seen what this is before. I'm not sure what that's used for. Unfortunately, you can't just stick them back in the menu. They should add that. But you can switch to this tool, which is a little vacuum cleaner, like a little dust buster. Now it's, it's back in my menu. This is a cloning tool. So let me show you what that what that's like. So like, I'll just put that, that domino there. And if I use a clone tool on it, I can just keep making more. That's very useful. So I'll just suck those up. All right. So let's see what this does. I'll start it by touching it. Okay, so it it has a little uh, little hydraulic cylinder or something that pushed that. So then you just press this button or this button to reset it. So then we'll just uh, we'll just start building. Um, put some of these. Um, I don't know if I wanna. Start putting ramps or what? Hmm. See, you only have a limited number. I only have five dominoes left. So sometimes there's no limit to how many times you can do this. So, all right. So I saw that this domino got to here. So I will. <clears throat> I need something like that. Oh yeah, there's a freeze tool. So you see this uh, snowflake right here? If I press on the touchpad, now it's in freeze mode. So like, it won't freeze if I drop it here. If I drop it near an object, you see how it changed? It changed to this like whitish color. That means it's in freeze mode. So it'll freeze there. Um. So, like, I doubt that'll work. I don't know, maybe it will. Let's just test it. Nah, it didn't work. Um, oh, that's be probably because the ball, maybe the ball was frozen. If I put it here, it's probably just gonna roll around. So let me just put it. Um, so maybe that's what things like this were for. Hmm. I'll just, uh, hmm. Shit. Damn it. The physics are too good. Hmm. Will that work? I doubt it. Doubt that'll work. Yeah, screw it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Picked the wrong puzzle to start recording. So, like, yeah, it won't freeze there, but it'll freeze there. It took me a while to figure this out. Because uh, the tutorial didn't explain it very well. How am I going to get the ball to stay... Because freezing it is just going to make it stay in one spot. So how do I do that? Hmm. To figure that out, it could help me to go over in this other room. So I've already d I just did all these puzzles over here in this room. So like, let me see. If you t if you t click on one, it'll reset a puzzle. So like, let me just show you this one. That launches that one, and this. Yeah. Resets them the way you already did them. So, like, let's see. How do I reset this again? Maybe I have to touch here. Okay. So, I set up all these dominoes, and I set, and I, that might have already been there. Yeah, that thing was already there. I set, the, set up the dominoes. Um, actually, no, no, no. See, when you click on it, it says no, like you can't touch it, you can't move it. That's because these were already there by default. Then I set up the funnel, because see, the funnel has that highlight, meaning I can I can move it. Um, same with this and all this stuff. So, like, let me click on this one. So, like, this one right here was default, but all these ones that have this, this grid, those are ones I, I put here. So, this was my whole setup here. So, like, yeah, right here. They put the ball up on this thing. So that's what I probably got to do. See, coming over here helped me realize what I need to do. Because this was already set up here. But I actually didn't even use this. Because like, there's all these different ways you can do this. I decided to come down here and come up here with, with dominoes. Instead of, I didn't use any of these balls at all. So, like, yeah, let me just show you how this works. So this slides down this book. Those get hit, and then okay, the goal at the end is to hit the button on the box. And you know, this uh, this line becomes green as you go. So like, here's the very first one. This is puzzle one. This is the easiest one there is. So these were here by default, and here's where I started putting dominoes in. And you know, that's like really easy. So you just hit it. And there we go. So then to start the next level, you just on that and then that's where I did that and then you just went I just went all the way around trying different stuff learning new things and I just got came in this room so then came here and they introduced this new thing where you know, hit it down here and then it'll it'll turn and hit up here and then so then you have to use your your slider thing with your grip to be able to you know move up and stuff so let's go back over here now that I know what to do. We will start this again. And it, yeah, it left off with the stuff I already had. So I'll do this. And uh, yeah, okay, yeah, now I can see that it has a little divot. It's like a, uh, like a golf tee. This kind of even work though. Let's test it. Yep. That worked. All right, cool. So, no, I don't want, don't really want, well, maybe that'll be fine. So now I'll, I'll freeze this. And that might work. All right. Um, maybe a straight one will work. And then that might work. Try it. See what happens. Ah, uh, nope. All right. So, just a little bit over here. Maybe. There we go. Nice. So now I click here, and oh shit. So set that. So that little cylinder is gonna come out and hit that. So I'm gonna get down a little bit. Oh, I'll just set up some diamond. Oh, I don't want. See, I, that's frozen. I don't want that. I screwed up. So I'm just gonna suck 
I went up. I could just I could just duplicate. That's even easier. Um, hmm. What's going on over here? So I'm gonna have to get something to hit this out of the way. I see because this is default, they won't let me move this. This reminds me of the game Crazy Machine or Crazy Machines. Um, which is also a VR game, but this is, I like this a lot better because Crazy Machine was like a lot, like most of the puzzle was pre-built for you. And this one like lets you figure a lot of it out on your own. It's a lot more creativity involved. Um, and you have more stuff to choose from in a lot of these puzzles. I'm sure it'll get to where like this entire thing is filled up with stuff I can pick. Oh yeah. And if you do sandbox mode, the whole thing is filled up and it's infinite number of objects. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you that. So, I'm going to have to get a ball or something <clears throat> to hit right there. Hmm. There's two of those. Okay. Oh, I, ha I cloned them, but that might, that might be fine. Okay. Hmm. Let me see this again. Okay. I'm gonna move them. Maybe this will work. Will that hit both of them? Yep. Nice. All right. So, I right, gotta turn that on. I got really frustrated with this trying to figure this out before, because I would I would have this uh, freeze turn on, and then I'd like be like, all right, but then every, it would just keep dropping. I'm like, what the hell? I have it on freeze. But as you see, that's what has to happen. Um, let's. Like that. Oh shit. Yeah, and if you touch if you touch the uh, other parts, sometimes that shit happens. So you don't really want to hit them. Is that going to do it? Yeah, that works. But that, is that going to happen fast enough? So I might have to do some turns. I need to slow down this one a little bit. Hmm. If I can do that. block that beam though that might work but it then the ball probably won't keep going let's just see what happens oh shit it didn't even make it over here so let me turn this maybe that'll do it oh. <laughs> then it's got screwed up over here. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I remember reading somewhere that, like, it's kind of like real life. Sometimes the physics will work one way, and then the next time you try it, the physics might work slightly different. It's like almost like chaos theory, like uh, Dr. Ian Malcolm was, uh, was talking about in Jurassic Park. There are tiny imperfections that, you know, will cause it to go... Maybe left this way, and maybe right the next time you try it. All right. So now we got some crazy-ass Jenga towers here. Um, so let's see. OK. 
Okay. What does it want me to do? All right, it's just gonna want. It's gonna want me to. I don't really need to. Yeah, that would be a waste to use that there. So I'll just. Uh, these regular dominoes. Oh yeah, I could, do, I could just be cloning these. Oh wait, oh, I have these on freeze. God damn it! How do I? I guess I just have to suck them up. I gotta start over. Yeah, you gotta be careful with the freeze. Don't wanna be Mr. Freeze. All right. Well, that worked. Yes. All right. Okay. Um, now I do want freeze. This should be easy. Is this going to be too big? Probably. Well, that, that might work. That should work. Yeah. All right, cool. Now we're using the towers. Damn, there's a lot that could be going on here. So, uh, guess I'll, uh, put this here it has a little decline. So I mean to get that. Shit. Oh, and you can't interact with other stuff. I've tried. Tried in vain. Alright. So that'll push this way, and then that'll knock the ball. And the ball will drop down in here. Then we're gonna need the ball to uh, hit that. Oh, and then it's gonna have to come over here. Okay. Let's do this. Hmm. Is this gonna be too long? Yeah, that's too long. start with this so that it will match up and then I'll just use this okay Maybe a slight turn this way. Probably didn't even need to do all that, but whatever. Makes it more fun. Let's just see if it works. Ah, oh, so close. Just have to that go down a little bit. Maybe that'll work now. Okay, so we want it to go that way. Oh, don't don't give me a lot of stuff here. Hmm. 
Let's see, I can't grab these. Sometimes it shows stuff in the menu that you can't grab. Hmm. Right, I don't want this frozen. Or maybe I do. Actually, I do want that frozen. Because now... Ah, shit. Okay, I probably just want it up here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. And... That... It's gotta go through this dollhouse. Let's make sure this works. Oh, it got stuck! So this needs to be up higher. So is this. Okay. I could play this game for a long time. This is right up my alley. I might not even need another piece. frames getting caught on. Shit. There you go. Huh. I didn't even realize it was right there. Alright. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, shit. Oh, well, it's fine. I accidentally reset that one. Instead of clicking, instead of clicking the new one. This is something different. Oh, yeah. And if you turn your controller while holding grip, it'll turn the world. I guess that's good for people that like snap turn type of stuff, but I like to just turn physically in my room. So I'm using a wireless Vive, so I don't need this. So I'd like an option to turn this off because sometimes I'm just trying to move around and then like I accidentally am turning and stuff. So uh, let's see. Okay. I got some new stuff. I don't know what. Okay. Is that... See, it's hard to tell sometimes if it's uh, frozen or not. I left some comments on Steam for the developers telling them, like, they should make that more obvious because it took me a while to realize how this is supposed to work. All right, so I got to put one of these... Um, oh, shit. Here. Oh, we have another one. I'm not sure how many levels there are. There might... I might have read somewhere that there are, like, 60. Um, and then, of course, you can make your own, and that'll be cool if people can share their levels. But if there are 60 levels, that's that's going to be sad, because I'm already uh, close to done. Or I'm halfway. Um, so let's see if that worked. I just gotta run into these these dominoes. I don't know, maybe they'll knock that other one over. This could be really easy. Uh oh. Looks 
Like if I do that. I mean, that almost did it. Holy shit. I just move this a little bit. Ah! Man, that was too easy. Okay. I'll do one, like, I'll do, this will be my last one, then I'll go to the sandbox. Uh, again, if I put this over here, it'll drop. But, like, if I, see if I get close to a solid object, see, it'll stick. Even over here, nah, that won't stick. That just makes it disappear. But, like, over that, yeah, that'll make it stick. Probably work. Let uh, me get up to here. Hmm, that's gonna be that's gonna be tougher. Oh, I have six of these. All right, so I'll just uh, put some more of these. Hmm, that's, that's not really going to work. Hmm. Put that there for now. Okay. I need one of these. And I do not want this frozen. Okay. Um, I only need this. And this. And then That'll probably work. All right, let's see. Ah, uh, not enough force. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. These, yeah, these are too all too close to each other. Maybe I just needed to have it come over here. Shit. See, that gets annoying. You touch stuff, it makes it disappear. I might need to. Mm. So I could just do dominoes on the back of that. I don't even need that, actually. I never tried this method, but this should work. Um, hmm. Uh. Nah. 
that's not gonna work. Hmm, I have an idea. I never try Oh, I can't even grab the dominoes, so that's not gonna work out. Alright. Oh shit. Hmm. Okay. So Will that hit? Probably. Um Standing on my toes. Okay, let's see if this will work. Oh, what an idiot. <laughs> All right. There. Okay. Oh, an even an even bigger idiot. So that's not going to work. Hmm. Maybe I have to do another ramp. Man, this one's got me, uh, fused. have to get something to hit from this side. And they give me five of these. I really shouldn't even be, shouldn't even be making long uh, stuff. That's what I need for that. Shit! I can't grab it. Oh wait, no, nah, that's because it had to re reset. All right. I was nothing here for it to stick on. That's the problem. Hmm. Okay. Gotta do another one of these. Okay. 
bro. Is it gonna work? Hope so. Ah. Oh. Guess these aren't lined up. Right. That should be good enough. Yes. Nice. I'm just gonna click that out of curiosity. Okay. And then, uh, see these uh, end up going here through this bathroom. Who knows what's gonna happen in there? All right. So, uh, so here you can you can save your progress and stuff here. There's like four save slots, which is cool. Uh, so, I'm going to go to home, and let's go to sandbox. So now we're in the entire house. Oh yeah, so last time I was in sandbox, I was messing around, and this is what I was messing with. So it must always say whatever you're doing in the sandbox, automatically. And see, you have everything, all the tools available. There's a, a tennis ball, and you can even, like, grab it. Hmm. It's, it might be it might be bouncing based on how hard I throw it. Yeah, it is. That's cool. Yeah, this game has some cool physics. Um, yeah, like, there's stuff like that that I've never seen. Oh, yeah, if you drop a ball in here, it'll end up coming out in the middle. There's uh, stuff like that. Um, that was Seesaw. Mm. So like if I put this, uh, if I put this here, shit. with whatever this ball is. Let's see if that'll work. Oh. Maybe this uh this thing here is like too big. Will that do it? Oh, shit. Is this a ping pong ball? Yeah, sounds like it. Um, various shapes. This funnel catches balls. Bucket. See if we can make this my CPU uh, cry. Looks like that moves. Yeah, it'll move. Huh. This is the same thing. Oh yeah, I can pull it. I can pull it down to arm it. All right, so let's put a ping pong ball there, and um, let's drop that. That was cool. What is this? I don't know. All sorts of little cubes and stuff. So if you have the time and the patience, you could fill this entire house. And you can go up into the rafters and build stuff up here. You could do some crazy stuff in here. 
Here's that bathroom. See, here's that same room I was in earlier, just with nothing in it. You can't go out this window. I've tried, and if you lean, it just moves away from you. So you're only limited by your creativity. Bounces off the glass. What would this do? Yeah. That's how you'd expect. Oh, I could play beer pong. Yeah, I could do that. Let's set up some beer pong really fast. You have unlimited stuff. If you could do co-op in this, that would be cool. I guess I'll play with with the tennis ball. All right. I just had a, a wireless freeze right when I threw that damn thing. So I don't even know what happened. Ah. Oh yeah, I could just keep spawning them. Why not? Shit. There we go. Damn it. I keep getting the same bucket. There we go. Ah. Oh, the bounce out of the middle back bucket. Ah. <laughs> Got the block in the bucket, but not the ball. There. Oh, that fucking block. Oh, too far that time. Yes. All right, let's go over here. Assess the damage. Got three in there, three in there, one in there, one in there. Just a block in this one. One there. Just to be a completionist, I got to do it. Ah. Uh. Yes. Nice. I'm just like, what will happen? I gotta see if the this will slow down or what. I'm like, what's gonna happen? And I wish I could grab with both hands, but you can only grab with one hand. Like, can I pick up this bucket now? Wow. That is really cool. Man. Alright, let me just... Yeah, I tried to grab that. Let me see what happens if I do this. Wow. Uh, see, when I threw that, I accidentally squeezed grip and uh, threw myself accidentally. Wow. Man, I could spend a ton of time in here just messing around. <sighs> Made a mess. Anyway, this was Gadgeteer. This came out today. It's It came out only for Vive, but it works on Oculus Rift, too. I heard from a friend of mine that tried it. So that's it. Thanks for watching.